All right, a different video covering something I really haven't talked about a whole lot on this channel. I have a vlog channel, which, you know, I mentioned it a couple times here and there, but it's on the subject of sea monsters and, you know, specifically sea serpents in this case. And just, you know, some food for thought, no pun intended, by the way. So when you think about it, the ocean is very fast and thousands of feet deep. So when somebody goes out in the ocean, all they see is just the vast ocean top. But under that vast, o vast ocean surface is a whole other world in which humans, if you go into it, are now part of the food chain. 70% of the Earth's uh, surface is covered by water, and only 5% of these vast oceans have actually been explored by mankind. And also new species are being discovered on a regular basis, by the way, I should point that out. There are roughly about 228,000 known species in the ocean, and as many as 2 million that are believed to exist, but are also a total mystery to science as of now. And that also begs the question, what if maritime folklore about sea serpents and other types of creatures like the kraken or whatever else are more than just simply folklore what if there's a bit of truth to these legends what if there's more truth to these stories than some marine biologists or scientists may realize you know sailors from the 1400s 1500s 1600s 1700s 1800s have stories encountering these creatures that are thought to be folklore and myth you spend enough time out in the ocean you're going to see all kinds of crazy stuff out there and an honest marine scientist will admit that there's more research that is needed uh, about the existence of sea serpents, but their existence themselves can't be ruled out. So, just, you know, some food for thought. No, again, no pun intended on that. But, you know, when you hear about uh, essentially all these skeptics coming out and trying to deny these things exist, you just spend enough time out in the ocean, you're going to see all kinds of things you, sh you think shouldn't exist. Now, I've never been out in the ocean. I probably don't plan on going swimming in the ocean. But you hear a lot of, of uh, you know, fishermen tell stories of what they've seen out there. Uh, you spend enough time, it's pretty much... Uh, conclusive when you hear about it that you spend enough time out there you're going to see a lot of things you think shouldn't exist but do so anyway just some food for thought so may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.